This is 101.5 WKSR Progressive Rock Radio in Washington, D.C. This is Ryan Tiersen. It is currently 6 o'clock at WKSR KISS Radio, Washington, D.C., and I'll be rocking with you guys until 9 p.m. tonight. first cut was Three Dogs Night's cover of Mama Told Me, which was written for Eric Burden's solo album. That was Corey Wells' leading vocals. After that, all along to Watchtower by Bob Dylan, one of his greatest hits of the album, John Wesley Harding. Despite the popular feedback of Hendrix's cover, Dylan's original still is worth the time. The lyrics tackle the confusion of values, what is valuable, and what is not. One of America's greatest values is helping one another. It's part of the American spirit. The American people are in need of a guiding hand right now, a helping hand, so let us help you. Hamburger Helper is one of the hottest new tastes right now, so I'm here to help you help yourself to a helping of creamy noodles mixed with savory ground beef. An easy to make meal created with the intention of helping people in mind. So, why not help yourself to a serving of these next tracks? Toes and flows of angel hair And ice cream castles in the air first record there was Judy Collins with Both Sides Now, a personal favorite of mine, followed up by Humble Pie with The Light of Love. Humble Pie's old label, Immediate, actually went bankrupt sometime last year and they have released their current album under their new label, A&M Records. I'll try to play a couple records off it later in the show. Then that last song I played was James Taylor knocking around a zoo with himself leading the vocals. Interesting lyrics highlighting his stay at McLean. Presenting the now. The now happenings of Peter Max, an artist and designer of everything from posters to a famous Manhattan restaurant. You've seen his work everywhere. Plates to pocketbooks. Now, a first and exclusive table setting display at Macy's. You'll see cloths that not only cover your table, but the entire modern art scene as well as only Peter Max can cover it. There are placemats and napkins you'll want to frame and hang on the wall, towels to make the most avant-garde posters look tame. 
Come to Macy's and see blazing designs and color combinations. Peter Max permanent press no iron tablecloths is an explosion of color. And it just started, uh, they started just $5.99. <laughs> the grooviest placemat you've ever seen in white, clean vinyl. Only $1.25. Signed poster towels, suitable for framing. One seventy-five. Peter Max napkins, just one dollar. It's a festival of color. Up next, we have some Zeppelin. If you didn't get the chance to see them live this previous spring tour, don't worry, they're coming back to tour from August 10th to September 19th, and we'll be here in uh, D.C. the last day. For now, enjoy some sets of their previous tour, Dazed and Confused, followed by Moby Dick. WKSR 101 KISS Radio in D.C. around 6.30 p.m. And wow, John Bonham on drums is quite something else. Today is a gloomy Sunday in Washington, D.C. Temperatures are around 72 degrees this evening, making it a cool night with lots of rain and thunder. A great time to stay in and relax with your family while love is on the air. Last month, President Nixon signed a Voting Rights Act amendment into law, giving anyone 18 or older the right to vote and extending the temporary ban on literacy tests and other preclearance requirements. So there should be nothing stopping you from registering to vote if you're above 18. Upcoming voter registration drives will be happening at St. Andrew's Church at 7353 Charles Avenue from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. this Saturday and at Woodward Elementary School at 7331 Peninsula Avenue from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. this Monday. Up next, we have the Beatles. You're listening to WKSR 101 here in Washington, D.C. That was Living in the USA by the Steve Miller Band off their album Sailor. Part of me definitely wants to live as free as Steve Miller describes there. He's on harmonica and leading vocals on that record. Before that was Back in the USSR by the Beatles. A nice juxtaposition between those songs given the current climate of the states. As citizens of America, it is oftentimes hard making decisions that you feel will benefit your country. As individuals, sometimes financial choices feel equally as difficult. Do you want to give the house a new coat? Get a new car? Go for a vacation? Well, never be short on money again when going out. Master your own life. 
master the possibilities. Get a master charge card today. With a card renowned and accepted worldwide, the possibilities are endless and your future is bright. You might recognize the music here. It's time for news. Hello everyone, it is Chris of WKSR-FM, back with something I find very near and dear to my heart. I found a photograph from four years ago that would touch every father's heart. It's a, it appears to be a picture of a Vietnam soldier holding his infant son who was slain due to the war. This photograph especially upsets me since I am a parent myself. The father's sadness seeps through the photo as he prepares himself to bury his very own son. Now, I'm talking about this old picture right now because this brings up the question of the government's true intention and the, the credibility of the war itself. We have a few people on the line to hear their thoughts on this controversial issue. Let's bring up the very first person. Hello, Chris. How are you doing? It's been emotional. Please tell the listeners your name and thoughts of this issue. The name is James. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't trust the government. And the Tet Offensive is proof of why I don't. The government told us we were winning the war, when all along, right under our noses, our men were out dying in the swamps for nothing. Thousands, if not millions, of American lives were being wasted. For what? They're just drafting whoever they want, sending us out, and I'm sick of it. I do agree with you. I do agree with you. Not sure about millions, but many Americans have died serving in Vietnam. The office supposedly said that the war would only last for a few years, yet here we are. It's been about 15 years since the war started. 40,000 young men are drafted each month, and many have died serving our country. Thank you, James, for your input. Thank you for listening, Chris. In other news, it's been about two months since the Kent State shooting, and I want to take a moment to honor the four who died and nine who were injured, some of who were completely innocent and some of who were fighting for what they believe. I think we all should be like the ones who are fighting for what they believe. Vietnam War has been going on for far too long. As the Kent State protester said, let's bring the war home. Let's all take Chris's words to heart. This is Ryan Tearson, and you're listening to WKSR 101. Nature's way. On a slightly different note, that was Spirit with Nature's Way. In case you didn't know, Spirit, along with many other bands and performers, participated in the Atlanta International Pop Festival this past weekend. For those who made it, lucky you. For those here in D.C. this past weekend, here are a couple of records to help you dull the pain. Listening to WKSR 101 Kiss Radio in Washington, D.C., where love rocks. Be sure to tune in later tonight for Fiona Messing's show at 9 p.m. and Isa Randall's segment at 10. It's a gloomy, raining, 
evening in D.C., but I hope you're warm and dry and enjoying the show tonight. Right now, Tech Hi-Fi over at 4530 Wisconsin Avenue Northwest are offering quality, low price components guaranteeing the best possible sound for your money. Tech Hi-Fi is featuring the Kenwood 2120 FM and AM receiver with TDC1 speakers plus the BSR McDonald 310X record changer for $229. Also featured is the starter system by Sanyo. Now I don't have a number on that, but with this basic system you get the Sanyo control center with its very sensitive FM and AM tuner. Power from the Sanyo is converted into quality sound by TDC Model 2 two-way speakers and a BSR McDonald 310 changer. You can get the starter system by Sanyo at Tech Hi-Fi this week for a hundred ninety one dollars which is eighty eight dollars below the list price so stop in at tech hi-fi at 4530 wisconsin avenue open 10 to 10 monday to friday every year millions of pieces of trash end up on the highways in our parks and in the oceans remember respect the natural beauty around you and don't be a litter bug if you like, you can still sign up to participate in your local Keep My Town Beautiful event this weekend at West Potomac Park to help clean up our community. Don't forget, people start pollution, people can stop it. Honey, if you saw something in a grocery store labeled the Uncola, what do you think it would be? I don't know. I mean, uh, would it be in bottles? The Uncola is really 7 up. I like the idea of it. I mean, 7-Up, the Uncola. But um, I don't really think it's at all a cola. Well, that's it. It's not a cola. Oh. Well, it has a fresh, clean taste and no aftertaste, and you can drink it any time you drink a cola. 7-Up goes wet and wild like no cola can. This is Ryan Tiersen of WKSR 101 Washington, D.C., where love is on the air. A rainy day here, but I hope you're enjoying the show and will continue rocking with us for the rest of the night. <laughs> 